I do want to get to my favorite playoff story involving you. We've never told this on the air, I'll, and I've never told you this story either. Okay, uh -oh. Seattle is hosting New Orleans in a playoff game. Correct. Up in Seattle, and we played them earlier. We played them early in the season, so um, it's not uncommon. We played them on Monday Night Football five weeks prior, and now we are back in the divisional <laughs> round at Seattle. Only it's a little different. We're we're staying over. Uh, across the water in Bellevue instead of downtown. But whatever we were doing wasn't working. And we're in Bellevue. And if you get your itinerary, <laughs> it's a West Coast game, so <clears throat> you're making the conversions. Are sure. we in Western time? <clears throat> it's a different itinerary than when we played on Monday Night Football. Nonetheless, <laughs> it's all good. But it's going to be a weather game. It's going to have a big factor in this game. <laughs> and so the first thing in the morning when I get up, is I have a waffle, you know, the whipped cream, strawberries, and I'm, I'm flipping through the networks trying to get either ESPN or NFL Network. Who's going to give me the forecast? There's NFL Network. I got it. And they're going to these sites where the divisional games are going to be played. And they're talking about, this is sunny here, blah, blah, blah. And then to Seattle, and they, and they get to the Seahawks stadium, and, and I know that it's going to be, and you can see the wind. And... <clears throat> I'm eating my waffle and they pan down on Russell Wilson and Drew Brees throwing a football on the field in their grays. I'm going to tell you where I'm supposed to be at that moment when they're throwing a football. I am supposed to be meeting with the officials, discussing the inactives, all right, and getting ready to say the Lord's Prayer and give our players a pep talk. That's where I'm supposed to be at that moment. I stumble out of the bed. This is my worst nightmare. I know I'm a half an hour away from the stadium, and I'm thinking to myself, national anthem, I'm in my underwear late to the game, right? That's the nightmare <laughs> that I have. Wow. And I just saw Breeze and Russell Wilson warming up, and I run to the shower, call my assistant, can't get him. The waffle is spilled on the floor. <laughs> I get back, my assistant says, hey, what's up? And I said, when did the buses leave? No one called. He said, Coach, the buses haven't left yet. <laughs> they had taken B-roll from the Monday night game. Someone in the tape room wow. ran the wrong tape. Can you imagine? <laughs> I text Falk. He's on set with Rich. I said, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I had a cow. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, you have no idea. We're talking about being like, this is the divisional playoff game, yeah. not being there for the kickoff as the head coach. That's how late I was. <laughs> and Sean, just Marshall showing me the text. We went back and forth. I arrived. <laughs> this guy now is live on the field, and I peek out at the stadium <laughs> only because of the conditions, and I take a look, and Rich says, good to have Sean Payton here at the stadium on time. <laughs> just some, some sly comment that, that not that one, one person is gonna understand until we tell the story. Amazing. Right? <laughs> oh my God. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.